Hi. Over here? On, yeah. yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, you're making your flyweight debut. I just wanted to ask what went behind the decision because you fought catchweights, you fought bantamweight throughout your career. Why flyweight at this point in your career? So basically, um, uh, every time when I was stepping to a featherweight, it was just because I wanted to get a fight. So I, I just catched the opportunities, but it wasn't because I was too big or big enough for featherweight. It was just like catching opportunities, you know. Uh, the same was with uh, Ultimate Fighter, it was in featherweight, that's why I got here. And uh, I always was like a like normal bantamweight. And uh, with the time, my weight cut started to become easier and easier. And uh, the last, uh, I think, three fights, I did not cut too much weight. And uh, basically looking on my frame, uh, I'm typical flyweight. Uh, I, I never was the biggest bantamweight. Uh, and we always was thinking with my coach about uh, changing the weight division, but we was looking for how to cut weight more. And uh, my body just started to do that by itself. And uh, when the opportunity came, uh, we just like, okay, let's, let's try that one. And uh, of course, uh, I always felt that if I will do something better, if I, will, if I can be a better fighter, I will be better fighter in flyweight. And do you think that's kind of harmed your career, having to jump from so many uh, like weight classes, like I said, catchweight, bantamweight, and are you excited to kind of show maybe the real version yeah. of you? Yeah, for sure, for sure. If you look at my record, I'm pretty good. I was re uh, pretty good bantamweight. But uh, as a featherweight, I was like, so, so, <laughs> yeah. So I hope that I'm going to be even better uh, flyweight. And you're taking on uh, Molly. Obviously, uh, the crowd's going to be behind her, but we are in Europe, so it is kind yeah. of like close to you as well. So uh, what does it feel like to kind of be in enemy territory? And are you expecting to have some fans uh, come to watch you as well? You know, it's not the first time for me fighting in the enemy territory. And... Uh, uh, for me, honestly, uh, I love that. <laughs> I, uh, I love when I'm fighting uh, in the territory of my opponent, when everybody is cheering for them. Uh, it boosts, boosts me uh, even more also. And, uh, you know, um, fighting in London, it was my dream. Because uh, London is the, closest, uh, uh, is the closest city where like UFC is doing events. Uh, to Lithuania, we have a very big uh, community of Lithuanians here. Uh, also, our, I'm representing Roger Gracie Academy and the Academy is here. So for me, for example, it was so easy to be here in London over fight week. I had Academy uh, like cheering for me, helping me with partners who I know for a long time. Uh, and it was, uh, I'm feeling like home. I'm feeling like home and uh, yeah, I, lo I, lo I love fighting in London <laughs> for sure. And uh, it's a mixture of fighting in anime territory and also having your people uh, on my side. Like uh, that's everything I love in fighting. Yeah, and uh, one more for me. Uh, Molly was had a lot of momentum. Her last one didn't go her way. Do you think that's gonna impact her? Like has that changed the way you look at her or what do you kind of make of Molly? You know, it's your thing. Uh, we'll see how it's going to be. I'm focusing more on myself. And how do you see the fight playing out? We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.